everybody, I'm Miss Dara from the Rogers Public Library and today we're doing design with Miss Dara. So today we're going to talk about balance. Balance is one of the principles of design and the principles of design are the standards or rules observed by artists when creating works of art. They're how to create and organize the artwork. So the elements are utilized when the principles in mind with the principles in mind and then outstanding artwork is created. So that's how they create their artwork. All right, so balance. Balance is the visual distribution of weight through color, texture, and space, and balance makes an image feel stable. So there are different types of balance. Um, one type is asymmetrical balance, which means asymmetrical means things are not even. So it, is an informal balance and you put different objects on either side of the vertical axis or e either vertical usually vertical but sometimes horizontal axis and you can like if you put one triangle over here and you put six triangles over here that would not be the same so it would be asymmetrical symmetrical balance or formal balance is where it matches so whatever's on one side of the um, center is on the other side of the center and so you create balance through repetition, which is one we talked about earlier. Radial, radial balance is where things are symmetrical all the way around the center. So it's going to be um, like um, mandala is a um, example of radial balance. So the way we're going to show this today is we are going to look at, um, we're going to do no tan, except we're going to, kind of tweak that a little bit and do ours a little bit different. So artists practice the art of no tan where a square of black paper is cut and the pieces are flipped out to create the design. So you use positive and negative space to create asymmetrical or symmetrical designs. So for some examples of um, no tan, here is one example of no tan. That would be a symmetrical this one is asymmetrical, and this is another example of asymmetrical. And then this one here is a really difficult one that is also asymmetrical. So these are done by different artists, and so we're going to create our own. So here we go. This is my example of one that I created. And if you notice, we didn't use a square, we used a rectangle. So it's a little bit different. It's gonna look a little bit different. And then I have um, some a little bit stiffer board to put this on so that you can hang it up and it looks really awesome. So here we go. So let's show you how to make that. So I have like several partially done here. So this one here, I have cut out and I placed it on here, but I didn't glue it down yet. And it's actually not even all cut out. Because if you notice right here, I have a circle. And so there's all these little bitty pieces that you have to make fit on this paper. So if you notice on this one, I've got something sticking off the edge. So you would need to move this around to make it so that it will fit on the paper and then adjust everything to make it fit. And it actually does because I had it fitting on the paper. So this, after you finished getting it all stuck on the paper correctly, which another way you can do that is lay it all out straight and then take your board, like lay it out on a piece of paper, then take your board and stick it on top of it and adjust it however it needs to be adjusted so that all of your edges are covered. Hold it together really tight and flip it over. And then, if you notice, they're all on there correctly. So there you go. So to finish that out, you would just finish cutting out all of your pieces that I drew on there with um, pencil and then glue all this down. So we'll do that in a minute. I wanna show you another one that I did. 
that's even less done than that. So in your packet that you can pick up at the library, you will have just a black rectangle and a white piece of board. And so you will have to design your shapes. So here's a really simple example that I did. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's just with pencil on here. I drew some circles. And so this would be an example of symmetrical or even not quite radial because radial would be, um, it's not a square. Since it's a rectangle, it can't really be radial. And so um, you can make yours a square if you want to cut the edge off of it and make a, a square, feel free to do that. But if you wanna leave it a rectangle, you can try to do it with a rectangle. All right, so we're gonna finish this one up. So I'm gonna get my scissors and cut the rest of my circles. Another thing that you wanna be careful of when you're doing your designs, if you notice, none of mine are on the corners. It's really hard to know how to flip them and get them lined up correctly if you do it on the corners. So, On this one here, if you notice, my corners are all intact. I just about did this corner, but it makes it really hard if you do the corners. So just do it in the edge space, whatever your designs are, especially for your first one that you do. Try not to do it on the corners. All right, so let's finish this up. So I just use glue stick. Um, so you just take glue and the first thing you want to glue down is your bigger center section and mine I just about cut through it on one spot so it's got a little hangy spot and I just ripped that off so I'll have to make sure when I put this back on I get that on correctly. And I just want to try to line it up with the pieces I have on there. Okay. Get that glued down. So that extra piece, I'm going to have to line up. however that goes. So I'm going to use this piece to line it up. How that should go, I think, and then try to do the other side with using this one. Yeah, that looks good. And it probably won't be perfect there, but it'll do. So I forgot I have to cut the circle out of that. So you have to be really careful when you're cutting to cut really smoothly and evenly. And if you um, do bigger things, it's a lot easier. When you're trying to do little bitty details, it's a lot harder to do. And I used, like on this one that has all these lines, I used a ruler and then a pencil to draw out my designs so that it would all be even and straight because I'm not so good at drawing straight lines, just freehand. So you just line up your pieces how they go here. So you're just flipping your pieces out. So 
I'm not going to finish this one completely. I just wanted to show you how to glue these pieces on. So as you see, this one is completely glued on here. I glued that on, that doesn't move. So that's what it should look like all the way around once I finish. Okay, but let me show you how to do it from the very beginning here. So I'm gonna take this and I'm not gonna use scissors on here. I'm gonna do one that's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut some designs. So I'm going to leave those pieces right there all inside one another so that I know which way to flip them. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but kind of at the other end. And I'll have to line these up in a little bit. I'm not quite there yet, but... Okay, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut. And I, for some reason, really like symmetry. So when I do mine, they're usually kind of symmetrical. But you don't have to do your symmetrical if you don't want to. And these aren't quite symmetrical, but they're kind of. So the first thing I have to do is figure out which ones are which here. take these. So I've got everything cut out. So now I need to decide how it's going to fit on my board. So I just start flipping these edges out. And it might not fit on my board. Because of the way that I did it, it might be too long. So if it's too long, you might have to start over and try again. Or get a bigger piece of paper to put it on. Okay, so as you see right now, this doesn't quite fit. And I can adjust it a little bit to see if I can get it to fit, but if I adjust it one way, it doesn't fit the other way. And because this from this is gonna be my longest corners, that'll be my longest space, this is not gonna quite fit on the board. So I did my things up too far into it. So, but if it did, we're gonna pretend that it fit. If it did, you would just take this and flip it. So take your pieces and you just line up the corner to the corner here. And then do the same thing with the next little piece and then make sure that you flip it the right direction here. Do it right like that. So that that flips out. This would go that way and this little one in the middle. Go like that. This one flips over and goes like that. And then you would just glue that down and that's how you do it. All right, guys. Well, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.